in the lead-up to the 154th installment of the illustrious $1.25 million Grade 1 Traverse Stakes, a remarkable narrative was unfolding, akin to a classic tale of racing fate. Merely four days prior to the prestigious event, Flavian Pratt, the talented jockey, found himself on the periphery of participation, devoid of a prized ride in the centerpiece of Saratoga Racecourse's 40-day racing spectacle. However, as the racing gods would have it, destiny intervened in an unexpected manner, propelling Pratt from the sidelines into the heart of the action. In a twist that would capture the attention of turf enthusiasts, Pratt not only secured a coveted mount in the Travers but also found himself astride none other than the triumphant victor of the esteemed Kentucky Derby. The revelation arrived through the astute decision of trainer Gustavo Delgado, who, on the 24th of August, formally declared that Pratt would pilot the formidable mage to the starting gate. This development came in response to an unfortunate incident involving Luis Saez, who had initially clinched the prize saddle but had been sidelined due to a harrowing episode at Saratoga on 23 August. Saez's unexpected dislocation of his collarbone and a minor fracture to his left wrist occurred during the John's Call Stakes, a race shadowed by the tragic possibility of his mount, burning bright, experiencing a fatal cardiovascular incident. The shocking incident concluded with Saez being unseated and ultimately finding himself amidst the verdant embrace of the Mellon Turf Course. In the wake of Saez's misfortune, Kieran McLaughlin, the agent representing the fallen jockey, disclosed that Saez would be compelled to convalesce for a period ranging between three to five weeks. This unfortunate turn of events left Delgado with the pressing task of securing a suitable replacement rider for Mage, leading him to extend the invitation to Pratt. It's not the way you want it to happen, remarked Pratt displaying a sense of camaraderie and compassion. I wish Luis a good recovery and hope he gets back soon. Against the backdrop of the bustling jockey's room, Pratt's words resonated with a genuine spirit of empathy. Guided by a sense of urgency, Delgado, accompanied by his son, assistant trainer Gustavo Delgado Jr., engaged in a meeting with Pratt at their stables on the Oklahoma training track following a morning of rigorous workouts on the 24th of August. For Pratt, this upcoming Travers appearance would mark his third endeavor in the celebrated race. His prior engagements under the guidance of trainer Chad Brown had culminated in a respectable third-place finish with two separate horses, Miles D in 2021 and Zan in the previous year. Radiating an infectious enthusiasm, Pratt shared, I am very excited to be on him, Mage. I have watched races from him prior to the Derby and I was right behind him, on Angel of Empire, in the Derby. Hopefully, the horse will run a big race. Pratt's anticipation was palpable, underscored by his close observation of Mage's performances preceding the Kentucky Derby. Mage's journey leading to the Travers had seen him under the tutelage of the eminent Hall of Fame rider, Javier Castellano. Castellano had masterfully guided Mage through his last trio of starts, including the Kentucky Derby. However, fate would once again intervene, reshuffling the deck as Castellano relinquished his position to Saez. This choice arose when Castellano, a regular rider for Belmont Stakes' Victor Arcangelo, failed to meet Delgado's stipulated deadline for selecting his Travers ride. Reflecting on the unfortunate twist of events, Delgado Jr. expressed, It is really unfortunate. He, Saez, spent the whole morning, of August 23rd, here and he gave me a really good feeling. He was looking forward to riding this horse. I felt confident we were on the same page. Optimism reverberated within the Delgado stable, as Delgado Sr. affirmed, Luis Saez is good, Castellano is good, Flavian Pratt is good. I am optimistic with Flavian because the horse is good today. He is feeling good, eating good, everything is good. If the horse is really good, you have a chance. If the horse is no good and not feeling good, you have no chance. Then, I might as well watch the Travers on TV. Delgado Sr.'s perspective distilled the essence of a horse's condition as the ultimate harbinger of racing fortune. A glimpse into Mage's temperament revealed a horse that was, in the eyes of the jockeys, a pleasure to ride. When queried whether Pratt had received specific instructions regarding his journey aboard Mage, a light-hearted chuckle escaped him. I mean, once the gates open, there is no other choice than to leave it in my hands, he quipped, encapsulating the essence of jockey intuition as the race unfolds. Meanwhile, Saez's recovery journey had been charted, with a scheduled procedure to relocate his collarbone at the Bone and Joint Center in Albany on August 25th. Following this, he would embark on a period of recuperation in his Florida abode. Prior to his unfortunate setback, Saez had been enjoying a fruitful Saratoga meet, securing second place in the Saratoga riding standings with an impressive tally of 30 victories. As the curtains drew close on the racing narrative, McLaughlin, Saez's advocate, reflected on their journey, stating, We have been blessed. Luis had a good attitude and he hopes all his mounts win. 
Saez's ambitions remained undimmed despite the obstacles cast in his path. Saez's presence was anticipated across a multitude of races on the Travers Day card, including mounts such as Dr. B, 15 to 1, in the $500,000 Grade 1 Ballerina Handicap, 1 in Vermilion, 10 to 1, in the $500,000 Grade 1 H. Allen Jerkins Memorial Stakes, Pipeline, 12 to 1, in the $500,000 Grade 1 Forgo Stakes, and Secret Oath, 8 to 1 in the $500,000 Grade 1 Personal Ensign stake scheduled for August 25. In this whirlwind of racing destiny, where injuries and opportunity converged, the stage was set for a traverse stakes of unforeseen twists and turns. As the thoroughbreds thundered down the track, the synergy between horse and jockey would determine not just the victor but the embodiment of resilience and triumph in the face of adversity. Please like and subscribe and as always thank you for your support.